In this example, we are going to add variable data to an invitation in order to make it personalized. So we're going to choose our variable data document workflow. And here's our master. And then we're going to choose our data source. So we're only using text fields here, so you see all of the columns from the data source appear and everything looks correct. So here is our file, and you can already tell that it's pre-imposed, um, which is why the top looks upside down. We're going to start by adding the address information. So we'll add our fields down here, and we're going to stack our variable fields within the same box. And we add our address. Again, we'll be stacking variable fields here. And so I actually am going to add a comma here after city. So now I will align all three of my address fields. I will align them both all of the left edges and then I will do a vertical distribution to make sure everything is even. So the next fields that I'm going to add is I actually want to add a, a personalized greeting up here to the top of the invitation, um, which may look like it's challenging because it's pre-imposed and all the text is upside down, but we can easily fix that in Freeform Create. So the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to create our variable field. So we're going to do that by stacking our two first and last name fields here together. So I'm going to change the text color. I want this to be white. So I'm going to use my white preset that I've already defined. Uh, this is going to become Arial Black. And I'm going to change the size to be 17. <clears throat> So the next thing I want to add is I want to um, add a custom piece of text here. Uh, so I all I have to do is just type invitation for. There we go. Actually, I want this Arial bold, not black. There we go. So now I have my field here. I've got my two variable fields stacked together and I've added my custom bit of static text that will accompany them. But my text field is upside down. But there's an easy way to fix that. You see this angle, uh, this angle field down here. I can just type in 180 and then flip this around 180 degrees. So it's upside down. And so it matches uh, the content that's on that side of the page. So I align that where I want it. That looks good. Uh, just one more quick change here. I'm going to change, go back and change this to Arial. So it's regular. Everything looks good. So now I'm going to go preview it. And you can see here that um, I've got my invitation, my static text here, invitation four, and then I've got my first and last uh, variable fields combined. I've got my address and all of my information down here. And now I can sort on the longest fields to make sure I've got enough room. So we've got this long last name here, catcher side. And I can make sure that my text box is long enough. And it is, good news. Uh, let me check this one other one. And then everything fits. So this file is ready to save and send to a Fari server for production.